minutes, 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Copy the end, Dragon One. Vehicle is pushing down range. Power and telemetry nominal. At T plus 45 seconds, Falcon 9 has cleared the towers, and the final Dragon 1 flight is underway. Everything looking nominal Falcon for Falcon 9 is one. supersonic. We heard the call out that the vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And there we heard the call out for Max Q. Coming up next, there are five events that will be happening in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, or as you'll see in the event tracker on the bottom of your screen, Miko. Uh, then stage separation, second engine start, or SES-1 followed by a boost back burn of the first stage and Dragon nose cone deploy. Main engine cutoff for Miko is where all nine M1D engines on first stage will shut down. This is immediately followed by stage separation where the first and second stages will separate. A few seconds later, MVAC or the M Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and begin to boost Dragon to low earth orbit. MVAC shield started. So again, Miko stage sep, SES-1, all happening in quick succession. Let's tune in. Stage separation confirmed. And there on the right-hand side of your screen, and by the cheers and the crowd behind me, we have visual confirmation of second engine start as that warm glow begins to build around the end back nozzle. On the left hand side of your screen, we have an amazing visual of the first stage as it is performing its boost back burn. Now this is the first of three maneuvers that the first stage will be performing. As Jesse mentioned earlier, uh, we will be landing back at landing zone one on the coast of Florida at Cape Canaveral. So the first stage has to completely reorient itself uh, and head back west. Uh, it was flying east, now it's gonna flip around, head back west towards the Cape during this boost back burn, which should be ending in five seconds. MVAC is looking good. Everything nominal with our temperature and power Stage readings there. And we can see on the left-hand side of our screen that the boost back burn has completed. Second stage looking good as Dragon is on its way to the International Space Station. Vehicle is on a nominal trajectory. Acquisition of signal at Bermuda. In order to make its way back to landing zone one, the first stage executes a series of three burns. The first of which you just saw uh, is the boost back burn. And as Kate mentioned, this is meant to slow the rocket down and orient it for re-entry. It also helps Falcon 9 laterally returned to the landing zone. Then shortly after this first burn is initiated, the grid fins, which are located near the top of the first stage, are deployed to help guide the rocket during descent. Uh, we're not showing a live view of the first stage right now because it's pretty dark, so you can't see it. Um, but what you're seeing on your screen is the second stage continuing on its way. 
to its targeted orbit. So then following the boost back burn, Falcon 9 executes its re-entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. And then the last of the three burns is the landing burn, which begins just before touchdown, and that's to slow the vehicle down rapidly right before landing. So far, second stage is still looking good. It's T plus uh, five minutes, and the second stage is taking Dragon to its targeted orbit. We've had an on-time liftoff just a few minutes ago, and we're just about a minute away from that second burn on the first stage, uh, that entry burn. Again, if we do land our first stage tonight, it will be our 50th landing. Second Vehicle stage continues, continues to follow to look nominal, nominal trajectory. And there's that call out for nominal trajectory. If you're just now joining us, it's T plus six minutes, and we're about 30 seconds away from the first stage entry burn, which will then be followed by the landing burn and landing of the first stage uh, on our landing zone one in Cape Canaveral. So you can see on your left-hand screen, this is a view from the first stage. You can see Earth with all the lights lighting up the ground. Once that entry burn begins, we should be able to see that light up that screen on the left side. Stage one, entry burn, start up. <laughs> and there it is, entry burn has started. This burn will last about 20 seconds long. Again, as I mentioned earlier, there's those grid fins that you can see on your left-hand screen near the top of the first stage. That's guiding the vehicle one, entry burn, shut down. to the landing zone. And there's that shutdown of that entry burn. So we're just about 40 seconds away or so from the landing burn start. The landing burn will last about 30 seconds one, before FTS the vehicle touches down. Second stage is still looking nominal. And it is a bit dark since it is nighttime over there in Cape Canaveral, Stage but one, we sonic. should be able to get a live view of this landing. Stage one, landing burn start up. And there's that landing burn starting. Stage one, landing leg deploy. <laughs> and the Falcon has landed for the 50th time in SpaceX history. Two, what an amazing live view all the way to touchdown. What an awesome view of our first stage for the 50th time. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team for another successful landing.